One, two, three, four! Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, far the best of friends. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, fun that never ends. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, just like salt and pepper. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, have their fun one night. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Strongest of them all. Yeah, almost there! Come on, you got it! Good for you! We all get stronger every day. You know what makes me wonder? Who's the strongest of all the animals? Uh, I think uh, elephants! No, me! Yeah! I think hippos are stronger. Hippo! Elephant! Hippo! By the way, what animal is Tina again? She's an elephant. And Tony? Hippo, duh. So we'll just ask them who the strongest one really is. Hmm? Ugh. Here it comes! Catch it! Uh-oh, <gasps> out of bounds. Strongest animal? Elephants. It's hippos. There's only one way to settle this. Looks like we need to have a competition. Just did. Fun and all, but friendship always wins. But how will we find out who's strongest? Beats me. Maybe try a book. <laughs> all right, to the library. Huh? Help! We need help! Come quick! Hurry! <clears throat> what happened? <gasps> Look! How on earth did you get up there? Well, I tried to be a cat. You've been there so long! And it's almost lunch. I'm hungry, too. We'll get him down real quick. But how? No way! No! -uh. He's scared because he's up so high. If he's not so high, he won't be afraid anymore. Here goes! Oh, oh no! Oh. Heave! Oh. Heave! Oh. We'll save you! What on earth's happening here? We need help! Scared for you, friend kitty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oink. <laughs> you know, at least now I know who the strongest animal is. Who? Huh? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Hide and sneak. One, two, five, seven, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you? Ah. Oh. Found you. Come.
Coming out. Always the first one found in this game. Just one more left. I'll use my intuition. <laughs> Anyway, Tina's it next. I accept. Uh, what if, what if I could be it again? I need the practice too. One, two, three, twelve, a hundred. Ready or not, here I come. Walking over lots of ground, looks like someone has been found. One and two, I found you. Come on, this round's done. <laughs> Intuition, go! Let's find our friend. Hmm. Oh! Hmm. I give up. Uh, ah, I'm the best at this! Hiding here, hiding there. I'll look everywhere. <laughs> hmm? I'm just <laughs> asking here. are too big for this game. No, not true. The game's too small for your magnificent ears. I can count longer this time. That way, you'll have more time to hide. That just won't help. Count to a million. It huh? doesn't matter. Aww. One, two, three, twenty. It's easy for pigs. They're tiny. Elephants need something much bigger for us to hide. Like a big pit. But oh. look, a big pit. <laughs> come out now! You win! Tina. Hey, Tina, come out! You won't even find me in here. There's not a chance. Tina, <laughs> you win! <laughs> Time to go claim my win. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, okay, this is fine. Um, I got this. Just stay calm. Don't panic. Help me! Oof. Any luck? Still lost. Tina, what if? What if we don't see her ever again? And she's gone forever! I'm so sad! <laughs> Let's not worry yet. I'll use my intuition. Intuition! Go time! Come on. We really need you, intuition. This is really important. <laughs> Shh. That's not me, though. So then, who's that crying? Never went hide and seek. Finally won, but was never found again. What a sad story. <laughs> found her? Yes, you found me. I give up. I lose. I've never been so happy to be found. My intuition helped. And your hair was visible too, because it's so long. I'm happy you're the way you are, Tina. And I'm happy you have intuition. <laughs> Weighing out ingredients. Gordon Raccoonzy bakes the world's largest apple pie. to bake a huge pie. But I don't know how much of everything to put in to make it really huge. Ugh, I'm getting nowhere. Silly Tony, don't give up yet. A huge dessert. Just how big? Elephant huge, that huge. Well, you have an elephant right here. That's a start. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! 
to make a pie that weighs as much as an elephant, we'll need to start with water. So go and have a seat, okay? We got it. Next to add flour, about half as much of the water. So if we need half the amount of water, the flour amount on the seesaw will be half of you. How will that work? Hmm, maybe sit halfway on. Or better yet, just hop on really fast so you weigh half as much as normal. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah! Huh? And here's where we dig. Oh, the hole is already dug. Have you seen a bag of flour? Ooh. There it is. Does your flour always fly around? We were trying to weigh it. I needed half an elephant's worth of it. Uh, it's harder than it sounds. But look, I'm making the world's biggest pie. It's just... I just came up with a new plan. Come with me. Rabbits, jump. Alicia, we're really busy here. You're too small to play with us. But I'm old enough to play on the seesaw. Got it! One Tina equals six rabbits. Half that is therefore equal to, uh, three of you guys. Get the flower, and we need three of you. Go to this side. Be real careful with that flower. Hello, I'm a grown-up rabbit. Okay, bye, Felicia. Great, one half elephant of flour. Now two rabbits of butter. You got it! Eggs next. Five rabbits. Sugar? Just one. <laughs> that looks like everything. Tony, what about the salt? Hmm, salt is only half as much as the sugar. Now I'm all confused again. Come on, don't give up now. But Tina, to get that amount of sugar, you need to weigh the amount huh? of half of one rabbit. Uh... Oh, Felicia! Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Thanks to Felicia, we measured everything. That's it? Done already? Do you have anything else to weigh? Not even a teeny tiny bit? We're all done. It's time to knead the dough and get to baking it. While Tony is kneading, it seems like we're needing to weigh more items. This bicycle weighs... Two of us! My vacuum? One of me! <laughs> How about this? As much as everyone! And that's how Gordon Raccoon's record was broken by the hippo from Cookie Village. If you tell me, make new solutions and the results taste great. <laughs> to find a mushroom. Tina! It's raining really weird. Come look! <laughs> How can it be raining? It's sunny outside. Dunno, but look, the rain makes the mushrooms so glad. They grow extra fast when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Hooray! We're gonna pick mushrooms today. my basket first with the most beautiful mushrooms I can find.
Mushrooms will be this hard. I thought I'd be super good at it. Don't feel down. Remember, there's still one thing you do better than anyone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms, you're the best at making everybody happy. <laughs> the drawing contest. Today, we'll have a contest to see who can draw the best. The winner will get this giant box of chocolates. Hooray! I'm awesome at drawing, and I'm even better at eating chocolate. Like it'll be fun. And what are we supposed to draw? Everyone will make a drawing of themselves. This style of art is called a self-portrait. I guess we'll have to make three of them then. Because there are three of us. Yeah. Okay, let the drawing begin. <laughs> But then, 
It disappeared. We can help you find your picture. <laughs> Tony, why aren't you helping us look for it? I've looked everywhere, though. Well, get up and try again. Huh. Ah, look, I found Tony's self-portrait. <laughs> <laughs> But only one can win today. <sighs> Today's winner will be... <gasps> oh, come on! First place will be... Pick me, pick me! Huh? The winner is... One and only... <sighs> it is... The winner is everyone! I thought it would be the most fun to share the chocolates. Feeling <laughs> 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 <Lily> nosy. <gasps> What's this? My newest invention. <sighs> I submitted it in a contest for inventors, and I'm waiting to hear back. <gasps> That's great. I know you'll win. Oh, I just remembered that there's something new in the mail. Come, let's go see. I bet it's the inventor's contest. What is it? Hmm. Who's it for? For the nose? Must be for me. I have a very distinctive nose. A trunk. <laughs> what makes your trunk so great? I have a great nose. It's a snap. We should all decide. Who's the best nose? The best nose gets the package. I'm doomed in this. What a boring nose. Don't let your ego take a nosedive. Come here and check this out. You see, just exercise. Mm -mm. Mm Fear. We've still got plenty of time. Let's keep trying later. No, this is hopeless. I need a break. Let's try a book. Hmm. Edgar Allan Polar Bear. The Telltale Nose? Ah! No, I'll play with toys. Hey, kid, like my nose? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hi. I had the most boring nose in the universe. It's awful. It's just big and flat. Well, let's see what our options are. Nasal reconstruction, nasal bridge implants, how to get a new nose. New nose? What's his deal? Welcome, everyone. Our nose contest has started. Our first competitor, Tina! <laughs> That's impressive. You're up next. Piglet snap time! Hide this mushroom anywhere you want. I'll find it soon with my super nose. Okay, come find it. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Your nose rocks. You deserve the package. <laughs> Hooray! Hang on, not so fast. Next up, me. Best, Best nose? 
nose. So you just declared you have the best nose? No, but this magazine did. Wait for me. Wait up. Check out my nose. <gasps> Great nose. For the most, huh? For the most promising young inventor from the Inventors Guild. It was yours this whole time? Oh, man, a construction kit. So it's not for a nose? Everyone here has a wonderful nose. Right, inventor? Uh-huh, right you are. The best story ever. No, I'll tell it. Sign up for the Storyteller Contest. The prize is a blueberry pie. <gasps> Yum! A pie! <sighs> Let's tell it all together. Rabbit registered. Next. I also, you know, want to tell a story. Great. I'll register you as a participant. Tell another part. What did you want? <laughs> he wants to take part in the competition, too. Right, Penguin? Upper, upper. All right, but what language will you be telling your story in? Nobody will understand you, huh? He will participate with an interpreter. And who is the interpreter? Me. Aww. Tina, you don't speak penguin. Big deal. I'll learn. It's easy. I think... I'll just imagine that I'm a penguin, and I'll understand penguin right away. Um, what? The best way to learn a foreign language is in your sleep. What? Your words do not fit in my head. I have to jump a bit so they can settle in there. That's the story. Our next storyteller is Penguin. Interpreted by Tina.
Penguin and Tina. Tina, 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 Tina. Extra strong. Someday I'm going to be super strong and famous, just like those guys. You are? Well, can I be strong and famous too? Have you guys heard how strong Penny huh? is? He's so strong, I bet he could join the circus. We'll never be as strong as him. Piggy's strong now? Amazed. We just need to exercise a bunch, Tina. You know, I could do these forever. Uh, yeah. But uh, are these pull-ups uh, uh, or sit-ups? Super strong now. Look, Piggy! We should still keep exercising every day. And then we'll become the strongest in the whole world. And, and then, then we'll, we'll definitely, definitely join, join the circus. circus. 